security, profitability, airdrop potential, ease of use. These are the four main reasons to have multiple wallets on Phantom and Backpack. Here are some of mine. Vault, have your soul stake tier, store your favorite NFTs, and back it up with a hardware wallet. NFT stake. If you have stakeable NFTs, designate them to their own wallet so you can sign transactions without touching your vault. Day trading. If you engage in this, have a specific wallet for this. Mine is personally a hot wallet linked to Phantom Mobile so I can sign transactions without my PC or my ledger for quick ease of use. Drip. If you use Solarplex on Drip, it's a good idea to have a separate wallet for this because you'll be airdropped hundreds of NFTs all the time. Dancing. I like to keep a few cent worth of previously traded gift meme coins in a separate wallet so they can dance for me forever. If you're an influencer, have a tip jar. Magic Eden. If you trade or have bids on Magic Eden, create a separate wallet for it so you can maximize the diamond airdrop and earn 100% loyalty on the Magic Eden marketplace. The same with Tenzer. Create a backpack wallet and have all of your NFTs from Tenzer on backpack to earn 100% loyalty from the Tenzer marketplace and increase the chance of a future airdrop from backpack. Have a mint burner. If you're minting from somewhere that isn't Magic Eden or Tenzer, then use a burner wallet. Bonk stake. If you're staking bonk, then have a separate wallet for it. If you're staking whales, have a separate wallet for it. These are some of my wallets, but for security, I've got multiple phantoms across multiple browsers, PCs, phones, etc. My main vault wallet, which I didn't show in this video, isn't even on phantom anyway. My main vault was a seed phrase generated by Ledger. I stake my soul wrote down the seed phrase on paper, and then stored it in a physical vault. These small steps you can take can maximize the ease of use, profitability, and help keep different baskets of funds separate, as well as maximizing loyalty from different dApps and marketplaces, making it easier to acquire future airdrops. The idea is, let's say Tenzer or Backpack is doing an airdrop, you know exactly where to go to. If you want to set a profile picture, let's say come over to NFTs, Let's click this chapter two token, click the three dots up here, and then click set as avatar. And as you can see, our profile picture has now changed. If you don't have any NFTs, you can click on this button up here. You can click on the symbol right here, and you could click say an emoji, which could best describe this wallet however you want to. Small but simple steps, but these will go a long way.